Oh, just to update you all on my uh, previous findings or my most recent findings, I managed to procure these from a little uh, a little hidey hole. Uh huh. Yeah. And most importantly, it looks like the last occupancies of this house have great taste. I think I deserve this. All right. After all that's happened, I think I deserve to let my hair down a little bit, you know. <laughs> Let's go. shooting that wedding today <laughs> I approached it with the same level of cynicism fake smiles, fake handshakes, you know, pats on the back congratulations, <laughs> all that usual stuff you know, I mean you're capturing these moments time and time again at every wedding, the same predictable moments I mean you can almost you can almost call it the T but Amongst all that, there's always, there's always that one moment, that one moment when the, the fabid tempo of the day disappears. It's the moment when the bride is making that long walk down the aisle. The, uh, the groom is in nervous anticipation. Naturally, he's groomed by supportive and encouraging Grimsmen, they grab him on the shoulder, they steady him for what's about to come. But at the center of it is a couple in love. And when they lock eyes, the, the world ceases to exist. They're in their own universe, orbiting one another for eternity. <laughs> You know, that last part it sounded better in my head. I'm getting a bit cringy now. But anyway, I think I'm fucking Jack Kerouac. But you know, it's always a pure moment of sincerity amongst the nervousness. I guess that's what life's all about. Sorry, Kitty. I'm sorry. I was never good to you. I was never good to anyone. Thank you. 